the Olympic final for the women's 200 meter dash is officially over, so we now know who the gold medal belongs to. And her name is Gabrielle Gabby Thomas of America. If you actually got a chance to watch the race, and you know anything about how Gabby sprints, then you should have known that that gold medal was hers by the time she came off the turn. She ran 21.83 to get the victory, the only woman in the race to break the 22 second barrier. But the time really doesn't matter that much, because this is the sport of track and field, where you don't just have to run fast, you have to be able to do it in the one race that you actually need to run. And she pulled it off, and now has the medal to prove it. But of course I have to give a shout out to Julian Alfred of St. Lucia for holding on to get the silver medal. Entering this Olympics, her home nation had never won an Olympic medal of any color. And now, thanks to her, they have two, both gold and silver. And I have to give respect to America's Brittany Brown for making it clear that we need to put some respect on her name, because she is now an Olympic bronze medalist. To go along with her world championship silver medal all the way back in 2019. But this video is all about Gabby Thomas, the only 200 meter medalist from the last Olympics to even make the final in this one. Because she's been knocking on the door to become the world's best for a very long time now. And apparently, she got tired of waiting and just kicked it down. The truth is that Gabby Thomas is way more than a track athlete. She's a Harvard graduate with a master's in epidemiology who pursued all of that while running away from just about anybody who would line up against her. Although she is American, and we are known for our fast sprinters, her journey to the top was anything but normal. But apparently, normal is overrated. And now she has a gold medal to back it up. Believe it or not, Gabby Thomas at the high school level likely would have rated as a high three-star recruit on SCARecruiting.com at the end of her senior year. If you need me to break that down, it means the biggest programs in Division I track and field likely weren't all that interested in recruiting her. But if you look closely enough at her numbers, it should have been very clear that she had way more potential untapped. In fact, she was probably more like a big fish in a very small pond, because she was running the 100, long jumping, and triple jumping, and winning a whole lot of competitions while she did it. And remember, we are still talking about a woman who became the Olympic gold medalist in the 200 meter dash. But if you're new here, I want to say thank you for even making it this far into the video. And I'm Coach Rob, the founder of SCARecruiting.com, where I rank the best track and field recruits across the entire nation. And if anything that I say actually connects with you, it is always greatly appreciated if you would please like and subscribe. But if I don't, just let me know in the comment section because I try to read them all. If I simply told you that she took care of business in the classroom, that would be an understatement, which is why she committed to Harvard University, which is known for a whole lot of things, but track and field really isn't one of them. Although their program is one of the most underrated in NCAA D1. The thing about Gabby Thomas is that she's always been way better than we gave her credit for. As a freshman at Harvard, she won the bronze medal outdoors in the 200 at the NCAA championships. That doesn't happen for sprinters in the Ivy League. But beyond that, she was also there at the Olympic trials in 2016. Remember, we're still talking about a college freshman, so it should make a whole lot of sense for that woman to go on to break the collegiate record indoors in the 200 meter dash, which is exactly what Gabby Thomas did, competing for Harvard. She turned professional immediately after that season, but she technically never left school. She finished up at Harvard and then went on to get her master's degree. You probably remember her from the Tokyo Olympics when she got the bronze medal in the 200 meter dash. But in case you weren't paying attention, she was the only American woman to get an individual sprint medal during that Olympics. So at that moment, we should have known she was America's best. In fact, she was very close to being the world's best. But the only reason people don't always talk about her like that is not just because other people started running fast. She had to deal with legitimate adversity between that Olympics and this one. In 2022, she didn't even make Team USA for the World Championship meet. And she was there at the USA trials, she just didn't make the team. But the real reason is because she was running with a torn hamstring. But in the sport of track and field, nobody really notices that. When you step to the line, your reputation is on the line with it. So she came back in 2023, ran incredibly fast, won the American championship, 
and then got the silver medal at the World Championship meet. But what I conveniently left out is that was also the same year where Julian Alfred of St. Lucia was running in a college uniform and broke the collegiate record. And guess what event? The indoor 200 meter dash. And if you look closely at the 2023 World Championship final race, you should notice that Julian Alfred is not far behind Gabby Thomas. While Gabby finished in second, Julian finished in fourth. So both of them had very real plans on winning a gold medal this year in that event. And the only way to prepare to be the best is you have to go out and beat the best. So during the 2024 outdoor season, that is what they both did. They faced off in London, in the 200 meter dash, in a race that went all the way down to the line. But Gabby Thomas was the victor. And by the time they got to the final race during this Olympics, the only other two women who had finished ahead of either of them during the past season were not on the starting line. But Gabby Thomas has waited a very long time to get to this moment. The one race that she actually needs to run. Because once you've gone to the Olympic final and gotten a medal once you're there, the only thing left for you to do in your career is to get back to that final and get the one medal that you missed. So now she is an Olympic champion, which is a very big deal, but she is also way more than that. And if I was the head track and field coach at Harvard University, I would expect to see a whole bunch of talented recruits flooding my inbox about now. I just hope that they have the grades to back it up. SCA track and field gear is here. Fast is a lifestyle, and what you wear should reflect that. Order yours at scarecruiting.com slash shop or use the link in the description below. It's a huge support to me and this channel, so I can continue to make you more content like this. And remember, it is always greatly appreciated if you would please like and subscribe.